Raddock, you had to get an umbrella escort this morning from the car to, to the site. Are you ready to see the sun again here in Brisbane? Yeah, definitely. I already got the escort uh, yesterday when I came for uh, my match because uh, during our match we had a big uh, storm coming through the core. We had to stop even on the covered center core, which was... Uh, really unique but uh, it was just uh, five minutes but uh, it was okay but uh, I believe it will we will have still enough sun on our uh, Australia tour. One interesting thing that you do I want to ask you about is I've seen after matches you finish a match and you go immediately from the match court to the practice court and hit some more balls with your coach Peter Parla. Explain to me why you do that. Uh, I do that, you know, uh, most of the time after the matches uh, where I don't feel, uh, you know, uh, pretty good. I'm not uh, happy with a uh, few, few things, uh, what I'm doing wrong in the match. So I want to get it, uh, get rid of it uh, straight away uh, on a practice court and, uh, you know, save, uh, save the time for, uh, for uh, relaxation and, uh, you know, uh, saving the time not to coming back in the afternoon or in the evening back to the courts and just to save the energy. You won the Brisbane title here in 2009, finished runner-up in a tight uh, two-setter to, to Roddick last year. Is it more than just enjoying playing in Brisbane? Is your success in the first week of the season got something to do with how you prepare in the off-season? Uh, yeah, I believe it uh, always has uh, something to do how you uh, how you came uh, prepared, you know, uh, straight uh, for the first week. Some of the players are taking it as a... Uh, opening tournament to see how are they going also as a practice opportunity you know before Australian Open but uh, for the last two years uh, I came uh, prepared pretty well after a, a very hard off-season hard work and uh, you know it's it's paying off and I'm uh, glad that it's uh, that it's going this way and especially here in Brisbane must be something special that's out of question. And in terms of confidence for the year ahead I'm guessing that if you have a strong first week of the season that that is a real boost of confidence? Yeah, definitely. Once uh, you start the year pretty well, in, uh, right away in the first week, the confidence uh, is growing uh, uh, very quickly and uh, g it helps you for the upcoming weeks and uh, you know that you started the year well and uh, you're well prepared. So uh, definitely the g confidence is growing up. Now at 32, are you training differently in the off-season than you were when you were in your mid-20s? Uh, you know, I'm uh, working uh, actually harder than I ever was. <laughs> uh, when I was younger, I didn't work that hard, to be honest. You know, but uh, yeah, I have to. I have to spend much more time on uh, on uh, taking care of my body, on a good relaxation, good sleep. Uh, you know, uh, just taking uh, better care of my body. Uh, because once I will do that, then uh, the body will allow me to practice 100% and uh, you know work hard. Good luck this week in Brisbane, Radic. Thank you very much.